I like to be surprised. I'm a big fan of stories with surprise endings, and I like it when something that should be bad is surprisingly good. So with that spirit in mind, I went into 2023 wanting to avoid the usual negativity and cynicism and choose instead to be optimistic about whatever came my way. Little did I know that my New Year's resolution would be put to the ultimate test right out of the gate with Emoji Kart Racer, a game that is just begging to be dunked on. Is this new family-friendly racing game surprisingly great? Or did I revert back to my old cynical ways with the very first game I played this year? Find out now when I review Emoji Kart Racer. Let's be honest, you already know what Emoji Kart Racer is. That title, it just tells you everything. It's a racing game that's in the style of Mario Kart, only instead of beloved Nintendo characters, we get a bunch of round, yellow-skinned emojis. There's no story or world building here. It's just a simple kart racer with the kind of smiley, frowny, winky, and silly faces that you see in text messages and on social media. It is exactly what you think it is. Obviously, there's nothing original or unique about that approach. Over the last 30 years, we've seen pretty much every type of licensed property turned into a simple, shallow kart racer, with very few of them adding anything new or interesting. That said, I could certainly think of ways they could use the emoji characters and icons to create something compelling, even if the game never breaks free of being a basic Mario Kart clone. The problem is that Emoji Kart Racer never makes that effort and instead leaves us with a product that is so generic that I can't imagine anybody being happy or satisfied with the end result. Not even young kids. Look, seeing as this review is about to turn incredibly negative, let's first take a moment to talk about some of the things that I actually like about Emoji Kart Racer. For starters, this game comes with 12 diverse stages, all of which look good and are filled with different types of obstacles. I also enjoyed the music, which is mostly well done and does a good job of complementing each racetrack. And finally, I appreciate that the game offers four-player split-screen action, a mode that you just don't see enough in today's racing games. Unfortunately, this game does pretty much everything else wrong. Let's go ahead and start with the gameplay, which is the very definition of stiff and sluggish. The carts barely turn, and they accelerate about as fast as a slug. It also doesn't help that the races are slow and so boring that you can't help but sit there thinking about how unwieldy the control is. There's never a moment where you'll actually enjoy playing the game. On its own, the stiff gameplay may be bad enough, but the level designs only help to exacerbate that problem. The 12 courses are narrow, with the sides of the track acting like an invisible wall. This makes a simple thing like taking a big jump a real risk, which should be the last thing on your mind when fighting for first place. What's more, if you hit the side of the track or smack into the invisible wall, the cart is almost guaranteed to flip on its side. And that's not even the worst of it, because you'll occasionally hit a traffic cone or some small object and just get flung into the air for no reason. But what makes it even worse is that it takes forever to get back up to speed, effectively tanking your chances of coming in first. And then there are the weapons that you pick up throughout the race. These items are so generic that I guarantee that you're going to be able to guess almost all of them in your first attempt. You get bombs, missiles, a lightning bolt that speeds you up, and a pile of poop that you drop off behind your cart. With the possible exception of the poop, you've seen all of this before in pretty much every other kart racing game released over the last 30 years. With so many different emojis to choose from, it's a shame that the developers didn't come up with more original weapons. They simply copied and pasted what other games had done before instead of using the property to come up with something unique and different. And that's one of the biggest problems I have with Emoji Kart Racer. For as bad as the gameplay is, I'm almost more annoyed that the developer didn't do anything fun with the Emoji brand. This is a kart racing game that has no discernible personality. 
Hell, you don't even get to see the face of your racer or the rest of the cast since you're always looking at the backs of their yellow heads. This makes it feel like you're not really racing against different characters, but rather just the same character in different carts. And even the carts are just cosmetics, so they don't change the handling or have different specs. And that's only the first symptom of a much bigger problem. When I say that the game has no personality, I mean that it's so generic that you could plop pretty much any licensed property in there and you wouldn't have to change a damn thing. A great example of this shortcoming is in the levels, which may look good, but have absolutely nothing to do with the emoji theme. You're not racing through stages based on comment sections, Twitter, or even internet memes. Rather, through generic kart racing stages that could be part of pretty much any game. I mean, how cool would it be to race through a house that's on fire based on that drawing with the this is fine dog? Or maybe you race through a stage that pokes fun of all of the Facebook cliches. Sadly, there's just nothing like that in this game. Instead, our yellow-faced characters race through a level inspired by Jurassic Park, something that has nothing to do with emojis. It makes no sense. This is ultimately why Emoji Kart Racer fails. This isn't a game about emojis, but rather it's a game that just so happens to have emojis in it. The developer has failed to take advantage of the theme, instead opting to just churn out another cookie cutter kart racer. Couple that with the painfully bad gameplay and a complete lack of extra modes, and you have yourself a kart racer that fails to make a strong case for why it should even exist. It really is hard to imagine a more generic kart racer. Now, on one final note, I found that the PlayStation 5's rumble was so obnoxiously aggressive that it often felt like the controller was actively trying to break free of my hands and escape. Let me tell you, after playing Emoji Kart Racer, I can understand why. Emoji Kart Racer is exactly what you think it is, in all the wrong ways. Lacking an identity and cursed with overly stiff gameplay, this is a miserable experience from start to finish. It's a kart racing game that is so generic and bland that you could replace the silly faces with pretty much any other character and you wouldn't have to change a single weapon or level. The emoji theme is quickly discarded, creating a game with no discernible personality that brings absolutely nothing new to the table. Ooh, let's hope that Emoji Kart Racer is not indicative of what's to come in 2023. Hey, thanks for watching our review. If you liked what you saw here, then you should know that we post new reviews and features almost every day. Now, here's the question I have for you. What is your favorite kart racing game? Obviously, a lot of people are going to say one of the Mario karts, but there have been some really good alternatives, including Crash Team Racing and, of course, Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing. Let me see your picks in the comments below. In other news, we'll be back tomorrow with a review of Super Dino Story, followed on Friday with an Electronic Gaming Monthly countdown that literally nobody asked for and even fewer people want. If that piques your interest, then I strongly recommend you click that subscribe button and support what we're doing here. Until then.